Hello IPXers, we are here for another video from Embedded World 2024 where we're going to be talking to a company called Dracula. Yes, that's right, Dracula. And they've got this really, really fun bit of technology which you can see there, which is uh, harvesting energy with that LED, little LED there using light, ambient light. You should jo Jerome. Yes. From Hi everyone. Yes. Who's going to explain to you how they do that? So at Dracula, what we did, we developed the concept of OPV. O OPV stands for organic photovoltaic, and the benefit of that technology is to generate energy from ambient light, natural, artificial, uh, direct, indirect light. As you shown with your card, this is what we do here. That means even in the shadow, even with indirect, low luminosity, we don't care. Any single drop of luminosity available, we'll be able to catch it to convert into energy. Right, so your real strong point is ambient light and probably in bad efficiency light. Basically, um, we, everywhere you have human, you have light. And based on that, that means any kind of light available, we'll be able to collect it. We're not speaking about huge power, nothing compared to solar. Outdoor technology is not the best one ever. But indoor, we can kick everybody's ass. Right. So easily. And that's the benefit of the OPB. Now, as we do it by injet printing, that allows us to make any kind of shape and design. Right, that means there's right. no standard. The standard is to be customized. Right. To make sure that we use the only necessary. And right. the other benefit of uh, OPV, it's organic. It's only carbon-based product. No rare earth, heavy metal. It could be fully recyc recyclable. Right. So you, so you call that OPV? Yes. Organic photovoltaic. Very good. Okay. And, that, and then everything you do is customizable. Yes, yes, because it's made by injet printing. Let me show you something. Yep. Quickly. This is a kind of a custom design that we can make in shape just to fit with customer application. You need two centimeters square, we make two centimeters square. You need a round one, we can make a round one. Just right. because it's worth it and just because we only come to the only necessary surface as we are selling surface. Right. And just, just, just to reiterate that really important point, everything that's in there is organic. Correct. And it's not going to damage the environment no. moving forward. No, sir. No toxic materials, no rehearse inside. Wow. Only water-based and so and alcohol-based solvent. Right, right. So literally, when it's done its job, it can be recycled. You can recycle the same way to P as a PET bottle. Right, very because good. Because 99.5% of the product is made of PET. Very good. So can you just talk us through some of these demos here where you've taken OPV technology yes. using bad ambient light? To convert into energy. To convert into energy, harvest energy to drive what? For example, here it's the latest STM 32U0 from ST, ultra low yep. power NCU. And as you can see here, you have the Lux meter, and the Lux meter is directly powered with all technology here. So all the electronics is only powered by the surrounding lights. Right. So I mean, that's a pretty standard MCU there. The... That's a standard, but ultra low power. Yeah. Fully only designed to go for very very low power. That's right. one example. Right. Another example here, you can sell. It's a um, transmitter. Temperature, humidity is go with a reference and LoRa transmission. Yeah, the same yep. tech design. Yeah, temperature logger. Yeah, so we collect the temperature and just so, to make sure. So you're talking about sensors out on the edge. Uh, the thing is smart buildings, that kind of thing. Yes, the, the main, the main uh, target we are working with are smart home, smart buildings, because here we have a remote control. That's a good example. Remote yep. control. We everybody has have remote control in a house now. That's not a real pain to replace remote batteries. We say, okay, I'm out of battery, but that's it. Now, if I'm spreading around the building, thousand and thousand of sensors, and I have to be the guy to check yeah. the, the batteries, yeah. I don't want to be that guy personally. No. So that's the thing and the benefit of that technology. As it lasts eight to 10 years for indoor use, that means you can leave it, it's install and forget it. So that's the way we work for that. So smart home, smart building, and more and more asset tracking. That means we want to track everything. So we can make very small, teeny uh, device that go for as a label, as a sticker to put on a product and to be able to locate it, any product in a, in a building uh, everywhere. So you're, you're taking your OPV technology yep. and that will create enough power for a sensor sat somewhere in a smart building. Well, I, I'm assuming forever. I mean, that's forever. So long as the light stays on. Yes. So forever could be on the, on the paper. Now, no, but I'm just saying in theory, yeah, yeah, in, yeah, theory, in, theory, in, in theory, theory, you're right, you're right. Okay. Because uh, that's the way it's working. Everything which is powered today with AA, AAA coin cell battery can be easily powered with all technology. That means it's already existing. 
the electronics is ready. The thing is that nobody have done that low because we have plenty of energy. Now, as we are short in energy, we are all looking for reducing overall consumption. And that's part of the answer to go green and to reduce the consumption of any kind of uh, rare earth, materials, carbon or whatever. It's teeny, small, the only necessary. And that's why doing any specific design make us unique in the way that, okay, you need two centimeters square, I will give you two centimeters square. Don't need to oversize it. It right. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So that's transmitting. Uh -huh. That's using, uh, I know, a low power micro. Yep. But let's say if you. That's one. It's a, it's a ceiling sensor. It's that, a, I was going to ask it's you. It's an infrared that. camera. Right. So it's g getting temperature, humidity, prison detection, and the fire detection, as an example. And to be able to collect the data and send it to using the uh, LoRa, LoRa protocol for that one. Right. It could so be. Just, just, just to ask a question. There will be times like something like that, like a smoke sensor, uh -huh. and it doesn't have light. Yes, correct. What happens in when the it... meantime, when there's no light? Yes. Every time that we're using energy harvesting, we need to get a kind of storage. Storage right. means that we have supercapacitor. It's no more battery, uh, lithium, or whatever, lipo. It's basic supercapacitor. Some more thing, something new we developed at Dracula. We presented for the world premiere in CES 2024. It's the layer vault. On the, on the front end, we are collecting the light. On the back end, we are storing, storing that light in a supercapacitor. Right. Everything is made by inject printing And too. you've done that in the same size. So yes. in terms of the packaging. It's the same, it's one product. It's the same thing. Same thing, and two devices in one, uh, one product. Very good. And that one is also customizable. That means you need that amount of power. We do, we shape it properly to make it working. Right, right. I'm taking the su su supercapacitor isn't quite as eco-friendly as the OPV. Exactly. It's inject printing, carbon-based product. It is nothing. still the same? Yes. It's really still the same? It's not the same, exactly the same material. The no, same, but it's good enough. It's good enough. It's going Very from good. the same direction. Right, right. So in summary, you've, you're talking about home uh, intelligent buildings, smart buildings, gas sensors, smoke sensors, Water. temperature sensors, Trackers. humidity sensors. All those sensors, they're out on the edge, sending data back into some kind of network. Network with BLE, LoRa, uh, yeah. NBIOT, and whatever. You're, you're totally confident using organic material, you'll create enough power or store enough power Correct. to keep these sensors going 24 hours a day and indefinitely. Yes, sir. Don't know what to say, really. Jack Killer. There you go. Interesting. Hey, where my engineers at?